everyone, it's Olivia here from Peak Physio. Today I wanted to run through my baseline three exercises for running. So a lot of you have started up running during lockdown because it's one of the few exercises that we can actually do and are getting quite concerned about injuries or have maybe experienced some niggles. These three exercises are my staples and I would really recommend incorporating them two to three times per week as a complementary strengthening program to your running. Now, please remember that these aren't individualized and they're not specific to your presentation. So if you've had any injuries or niggles, please give us a call to book an appointment as these are only exercises that we can give that are quite broad. The three muscle groups that we're going to be talking about today are the quads, the muscles through the tops of the thighs. Really, really important when it comes to your propulsion and your eccentric control for landing during running. So that's going to be one of the muscle groups that we hit today. The second muscle group that we're going to be focusing on are the gluteals. So specifically the glute med, which is one of the muscles on the outside of the hip. Really, really important when it comes to your pelvic control and that single leg stability. The third one is the soleus, which is one of the forgotten muscles of the calf. Really, really important when it comes to absorbing all of that motion and ground reaction force when you are running. Uh, and it's quite, as I said, quite often forgotten about. So those are our three that we're going to be targeting today. Let's get straight into it. So in terms of the quad muscle, the first exercise that I'm gonna run through is a Bulgarian split squat. So you'd like to have your target leg forward you're going to pop your back leg just up on a support so you can utilize coffee table chair get creative at home it doesn't have to be anything flash you're going to try and just scoop the tailbone under keeping the body nice and upright now you're going to just drop straight down and back here and pressing up use the wall if you need to for some stability excellent try and keep the weight forward in that front heel sinking down low and then pressing up. So that's our first exercise there, nice and simple. Okay, second exercise is targeting that soleus muscle group that I was talking about. Now to get to that, you have to have bent knees. So it's a little bit different to a normal calf raise, which you've probably seen before. So for this, I'm gonna demonstrate on a box, but you can definitely do this on flat ground with bent knees, coming into a heel raise position from there or in a wall squat. But for today's sake, we're going to be doing it on the box. I'm going to come up, drop my heels just off the end of the box here, bending the knees into a comfortable position. Keeping my knees at this angle, I'm going to then lift and lower the heels. So I'm not letting my knees bounce here. I'm not letting my head position change at all. I'm keeping my hips really nice and square here and I'm just lifting and lowering through the heels. Perfect. Exercise number three is hitting that glute as I was talking about. So you're going to come down onto a comfortable surface. Now for this one, I'm going to stay propped up on my bottom elbow, but you can lie down inside lying for this and that's perfectly fine. You're going to extend your top leg back behind you. Now, you want to keep the hips stacked here, even slightly angled forward, okay? You're gonna take that back heel back behind you. So the toes aren't in line with the hips here and they're not creeping forward. They're actually back on that, on that diagonal, excuse me. <laughs> You're going to lift and lower the leg from here. Now you wanna keep the knee engaged, so really nice and strong through that thigh muscle. You want to keep the toes pointing forward. Try not to move too much through your trunk. You want to keep this really nice and strong and just have that long lever being the one that's doing all the work. Now you'll have to watch this one because those hip flexors might start to take over and you'll start to creep forward. You really want to keep it back on that angle. And you should feel that start to build some heat. If you were to pop your hand like a C over the outside of your hip, you should feel that muscle starting to work in that region of the thumb, okay? So those are my 
three beginners guide to running exercises. As I said, these are not individualized and if you're having any issues, please give us a call to book in, but these do give you a really good place to start. Thanks.